It's one of your favourite dialogues. It's coming up, isn't it? This bit? Yeah. yeah uh, I can't remember this scene, actually. You've got some nerve coming round here, ain't you, Tom? Never mind what I've got. I'm looking for Bricktop. You mean Mr. Pulford? You know what I mean, Fringe. Now fuck off and find him. <laughs> yeah, I always thought Fringe. It was, a, it was a name that Jones came up with. If you like this, put them. A few of the chaps. Picking your nose. Too busy. Listening to white powdered angels sitting on their shoulders. Now you should never trust a man. Oh, well, this is fucking, this is the edited, edited version, this one, isn't it? And it used to go on for ages, this scene. I love the dialogue in it. Never listened to white powdered angel sitting on their shoulders telling them what was what. Of course, it was all a reference to cocaine. Um, and uh, Oh, yeah, that should have been in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is edited, edited. But uh, it was a big, long sort of monologue on how useless people are once they've done a couple of lines of yo-yo. No, I didn't know he was right to a brain. It was Dennis's first day. Shut that door, Sean. No, not the fucking door, Sean. This, this is a bit pink for me, this scene. It's a bit peach. Sure, this is not Dennis. It's just, uh, it's just, just not as sinister as I would have liked it to have been. Quite like this, the way the camera comes up, raises here. Touch of evil. The uh, director of photography was keen on replicating. And fuck. Mm, just a bit slow. I tried various ways of speeding it up. Didn't work. But I didn't like the dialogue. But it was all just a bit too convenient. Mm, doesn't work for me. It's not graded, so it does look kind of shit. Yeah, but he always comes back to you. Oh, man, this well, is... Back this time, Dave. Oh. Flatty, get off me for one night, that's fine. That's one of my favourite bits of bread, that. Flatty, get off me, woman. One night, that's right. What? Um. Oh. The dog! Damn it, turkey. You see the fucking dog in my catamaran? I'm sorry, I have my It was a little bit silly, this ending. But uh, any excuse to get back into the um, campsite was. Mind if we take a look around? Was good enough for me. It's only a dog. I guess another one for me so much to eat. I've got to say, you've got oh, to... Listen, it's a great back. scene, this. Now, don't pick my arse, Tony. I'm not in the <clears throat> you got a diamond and it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my colleague. Yeah, like the union jack in the corner there. Never mind the small tail. Of course, uh, in context, or seeing the other scene, you'd appreciate that Eric and... Uh, and Vinnie Jones oh, have um, an understanding that they hate one another. And Vinnie constantly takes the piss. And uh, some dialogue. And I didn't like losing. Just come out with it. I'm going to fucking have you. You couldn't have a bunk up in Bangkok. I want to buy the piece back. I won't pay less. Um, than but it's just. Just got fat on it. It's a rather good look, don't you think? I love that. I love that carpet. That. Couldn't have me as long as you've got an old in your ass. You're a fucking dead man. Do you hear me, Tony? Based on reality, wasn't it a builder for any of those pissed in someone's pocket? Yeah, Vinny pissed in someone's pocket. Oh, shut up, Errol. Get back in your fucking pram. Tony, ain't you house trained? Come on, let me see this one. Sort of works. I don't know. I must say, now it's gone. I'm... Mind oh, you, thank you know, God you're not regretting it. <laughs> yeah, eh? but it's funny scenes without embellishments. It was, yeah, it was. It shows how much music and it's grading. Re- and... This is a re- sh- yeah, yeah, grading sample. I was going to tell you. Oh, I bet you were. This is the stone that you want me to buy. So it's quite interestingly put together. This. No, I wasn't going to tell him. What the fuck does he know about stones? I don't know, Vince, but I think Avi the I know a Mossonite might. This is a Moissanite. Yeah, well, I didn't know he was going to lock us up in here, did I? It's shit. <laughs> it ain't worth fuck. What happens when they figure out it's a fake stone? Well, so we're going to get... Oh, there's a shot that I couldn't stand of the diamond smashing. Oh, this scene I haven't seen in a while. But to me, this scene just didn't, uh, just didn't work. Well, it was nothing to do with the acting. It was actually to do with all the directing. It was too quiet. It's not busy enough. Yeah, well, yeah. 
it, it is a bit of class. Um, oh, man, it. Black geezer. Um, the dialogue's quite good. This is just, again, one of those scenes that... Well, it was just slowing the film down, so yeah, we just got rid of just it and replaced it with um, the video monitor shot. Porn is in filthy dirty. Porn as in, I've run out of money, here's my fucking wedding ring. Good boy, Malik. Any time, boys. Any time. Any time. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right, old Malik. Right, this was a scene I, uh, I was not happy about taking out. Um, although I did take it out in the end. Mind you, I, some, some, somehow there's bright sunshine in this scene, which came from fuck knows where. It was the director of photography getting excited again. Um, I'm very busy at the moment. That chap used to be a mercenary who's reading a copy of The uh, the Sun behind the bar there. I was very keen on the dialogue on this. Um, it's a little indulgent from a screenwriter's perspective, but nevertheless, I was, uh, I was very keen on it. I like the, I like the way they just bantered with one another and have absolutely no respect for one another. I thought Jason was cool. Tommy was cool. You know what he's done to people on that pool tonight? Love the way the pub looked. What? Potted more balls than any other player. And what else can you do to people on a pool table? Quite a fucking lot. If you nail them to it. I'm so, I'm very keen on that uh that delivery. Dry as a bone. You Turkish? Oh, tight, rude boy. Put your guns away. I said, are you Turkish? Well, I ain't fucking Greek, am I? Um, I made it up at the time. Um, I just, this sort of scene took a, a uh, life of its own. I was, I was very pleased with it. Where's the Russian? He'll be here in a minute. We'll just get him to open it. Oi, four fingers. This, uh, this scene, I like the way it's... Of course, this is the tea cosy. Uh, this will... It's a tea cosy. This will make more sense. Um, the ending makes more sense now. You know, it's a bit of tea cosy. Uh, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy with it as a scene. But... Uh, it just, sort of it just, it just nowhere, wasn't... Though. Yeah, it just wasn't telling us much. Wasn't, well, it wasn't telling us enough to warrant it. Well, the scene started off with the, the thing in the case, the stone, stone in the case, and it ended. Yeah. The stone in the case, so we just thought, fuck, let's just get rid of it. Yeah. Just didn't serve much of a purpose. Well, Benicio's very good, isn't it? He's doing fuck all in it. He doesn't. Yeah, it was a case for him. I think I'll hardly say he was very good in it. it was Stuart, a bit you're of an going overstone. to see his acting genius. It's not going to happen when he falls and delivers that oh, line. Oh, yeah. I mean, he didn't want to throw himself on the floor, really. Oh, you bunch of good chips. I like that. <laughs> it's up, my Aunt Benny. I love the way the lads sort of move like that. Fit boy, like that on the floor. Like that on the floor! Excuse my silence, but I haven't seen this scene in so long. I'm sort of watching it for myself. It's a very tricky scene to edit and get the timing right on this one. I spent fucking hours working on it and then the end of the day. Not in the film. Yeah. Sneaky fucking Russian. Whoops. 